Sometimes my brain hurts. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to some Pathfinder. Um, I say that that is not that is not the proper introduction for this, right? Hey, everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Pathfinder: Wrath of the Righteous. This is our Beast Tamer Bard build, episode two hundred and ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Holy shite. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of episodes there, Odorous Babodorous. That's a lot of doing, Odory Babodory. Alright. That's too many. It's... <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with you. This game's a very big game. Uh, it might be too big of a game. Might, might be too much game. For whittle old me. Um... Before we make that determination, though, we need to, uh, figure out the fuck we are going. Right, we could not go that direction. Okay, we're heading in here. Did we do this? Oh, we most definitely did. Did I not save properly? Entirely possible. I hate bombardiers. I hate them so. He's still throwing bombs. That's absurd. Absurd. We're literally just gonna load. I hate them. I hate alchemists. I hate bombardiers. I hate vis vivisectionists. I hate anything that throws a bomb. I think vivisectionists throw bombs. It's it's such a just mind-bogglingly silly class What's going on here? that just triggers over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Let you hurt my friends. Okay. We need to come in here so that we can see all of the things in here. There are multiple demon shooters here. We want this bombardier out ASAP. I will resist. Oh, there's another. Great. It doesn't stop. Also, I remember this place being the super loud place because this fire animation is so freaking loud. Right? Please help me. Okay, I remember what fucking happened. I remember what we did last time. We got, uh, what we did last time was we got really lucky on uh, speed, on initiative on Ninio, and Ninio weirded, like, most of these fuckers. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna straight up weird them from the very beginning. Because those bombardiers are destroying me. Because they do not care. Yata! Fuck you, <laughs> fucko! <laughs> oh god, I I don't know that I like being that kind of like cheesy about things, but at the end of the day, if the game's gonna be that much of an asshole on certain enemy types, fuck them. Like <laughs> that was absurd. Walking in there twice with those bombardiers, just being like, nope. Spoosh, 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 spoosh. Somebody's dead. Like, I I don't know what you can really do about that. Like, going, 
I want to go back up here and check real quick. Not the shooters. Yeah, they're rolling with a 42. A plus 42 modifier against my touch AC. Right? The fact that the bombs go against touch AC is absurd. 27 against touch. 32 against touch. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, let's see if we can just... I don't know. Can I great one of these guys? Oop. We will instead... Do a some... Hellfire rank. Acid damage is a no-go on him. Gotcha. Fair enough. Guys. Thank you. Yeah. No reason. has is scary now. The brilliant energy scythe. Pretty damn, pretty damn solid, gotta say. Does feel quite good. Okay. Let's quick save, because we had already done that. But apparently, we forgot to save appropriately. Please, allow me. I sense something. I remember getting Howling Doom. How far back I'm were we? Is useful to you. I'm trusting you. Not good. Together we stand. Oh, oh, right. I remember we we had. Okay, I I know where we stopped. We stopped. We we were about to talk to Baphomet again. Gotcha. My bad. There's this whole like uh, section we went through here. You call. Finished here. Is there more? So we were gonna do this obelisk, basically, but instead we went down here, and this is where we encountered the next. Okay, here we go. The next Baphomet thing. Uh, and we already read through this. And then we got to this part. Hey! We're ten minutes into the episode and we made it to where we were last time. Hell yeah. I could completely forgotten that we were sitting on uh, on this. And apparently... I mean, I guess it makes sense now because I didn't... I was in the middle of the conversation. I couldn't save. I, I It does surprise me that we saved... We quick saved so far back though. So that's a little weird for me. Odorist, Bodorist, Rist. You want a, a treat? Because, yeah, I want a treat. I always want a treat. Oh, oh god. Smell. 
Otis, get the tree. I'm going. She don't need these treats. I gotta go get the other bag. Alright, Limpopo. Huh. The music here is so fucking intense. I gotta turn it down. I gotta turn it down. It's just blaring in my ears right now. Okay, let's start reading Baphomet, 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 right. He's got that haughty, slow cadence. Arilu Vorlesh will lead my armies, and Galarian will drown in blood. Something like that. Probably very far off. It's been a while since we've actually heard him speak. Um, you have entrusted your armies to Arilu Vorlesh? Yes. Now that Hebsamira has failed me, Arilu Vorlesh has become my new general. She has already told me everything she could discover from Nocticula, and this knowledge has been quite valuable. What's more, Arilu still serves Descari and reports all his orders and designs to me. She has proven herself a competent spy, despite her mortal origin. You hear a chuckle in Baphomet's voice. I have exalted Arilu and made her my first slave. But do not be so quick to underestimate me. I know full well that she will betray me whenever the opportunity presents itself, but I plan to betray her first. Arilu, Baphomet, Descari, Nocticula, they're all so evil and say all kinds of nonsense. I'm so lost, I can't tell which of them are friends and which are butting heads and fighting. I already defeated Hepzamira, your mightiest daughter. I'll handle the rest of them. You speak of Hepzamira as if you're hoping your words will wound me. You've killed one of my descendants, and her specter now wanders these halls. Am I supposed to care? I could spawn hundreds, thousands more. Among them, there will be those in whom my blood is stronger, and they will surpass Hepsimira. Believe me, I possess none of a father's sentimentality, for I am not a father to them, but their creator and their god. Oh, well then. The freaking hitching. Annoying. I met another one of your daughters, Horzala. Horzala bet everything and lost. She invoked my name when she was on the brink of defeat, but I did not answer. Why would I? I am not in the habit of playing favorites among my offspring. They must earn their place by tearing their competition to shreds. The weak must be weeded out to keep the blood strong. Orzala was stronger in a fight, but Hebzamira was more cunning and vicious, which is why she prevailed. Why should I nourish the shoots of the weaker branch? when I can give all my attention to the one that's stronger. Hold up, you literally just said that Horzala was stronger, just Hebzamira was more cunning and vicious. So, both of them are stronger than each other in different respects, and you're saying one instance of Hebzamira beating Horzala because she was more cunning and vicious means that Hebzamira is the better. But it could have just as easily been Horzala catching Hepzamira out of position and crushing her like a little bug. Like, like a little bug. 
God. Why aren't you cultivating both? Like a little bug. Like that little bug. That little bug. It's a little Odo. It's very warm in there, Otis. Very warm in here. That's his hot pocket. That's his hot pocket right here. His chest. How many of your offspring, Yagafalis? Hepsamira tried so hard to strike his name from the memory of the abyss itself. Yagafalis was always crafty and able. But he lacked zeal and ire. I valued his shrewd mind and his uncanny ability to lie. And I found it regrettable when Hepsamira disposed of him. I didn't in intervene, interfere, of course. My children must fight amongst themselves. Only then can the strongest be revealed. Going to brand all your servants, or was Minago just lucky? I place various seals upon my slaves. There are those that grant power, those that bring delight, those that inflict pain, and those that simply mark their bodies as mine. Minago failed me. I encouraged her to correct her mistake. The seals torment her every breath, drain her strength, and only by destroying you can she be free of them. I don't know where Minago went, but rest assured, every moment of her existence is torture that makes her want to scream without end. Stop cowering behind your minions. Are they my seed and my spawn? Faithful worshippers, not part of me? Do they even consider themselves separate from their master? You cling to the notion of individuality without realizing that your own self does not exist. You are but an instrument that has been grasped by several hands at once. Your destiny, your actions, even your thoughts are theirs to control. Don't understand. No matter. You will, as you wander the darkness of my labyrinth for eternity, you'll give up the illusion of selfhood. How will you know who you are then? I, I kind of want to use this because, you know, it's... But at the same time, I kind of just want to be like, I don't give a shit about your threats. Right? Um, yeah, I don't care about your threats. A clever mind hangs on every word spoken by the enemy so as to discern their plans. You do not possess such a mind. A pity. I might go back for that. The Minotaur's body begins to swell and alter. Baphomet is pouring a generous dose of his power into it. You seek to battle me. I will sacrifice the body of one of my faithful to show you a fraction of my true might. Baphomet's chosen. All right, let's load, and we're going to see how that last little, last little religion option changes things. Oh, where's my water? I left my water on the counter! How fucking dare I? Ah! Everything's falling apart. No. Dropped like five things off my shelf. I'll be right back. Grab the water. The Wawa. I love you. Well, good night. Hello, Dispobotus. Boy. Grab it. 
be Mr. Grabby? I'm over here petting you and you being Mr. Grabby? That's rude. That's rude. You're a rude dotus. You're not even looking at me. You're looking over me to see the lippo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He gonna be a grabby boy and, and then he ain't even looking at me. Baphomet lapses into silence and studies you. You don't even realize how alike we are, mortal. Know that, just as I once was, you have been betrayed by your own patron. It is time for you to die. Okay, well that was an interesting little slight adjustment. Otis, take this to the laundry basket. Dropped it! He just dropped it! I mean, he made my coat. It's at that weird state. I say weird state, it's like it. It's like that. Always here. Where the temperature outside regulated by the temperature inside or versus the temperature inside creates this weird scenario where sometimes I'm real cold and other times I'm real not. And it's real not fun. Uh, okay, this guy has 61 AC. That's a lot of AC. That's a, that's a bit of AC. We're going to go ahead and the thing. Uh, we are in rain. Getting through failed. Oh yeah. We don't have haste up, do we? Our last little encounter. We do not. Probably we just haste then. Okay. Uh, do that. No glory without risk. Okay. Fantabulous. Right, I remember we are, we used all of our freaking inspire greatness. There's a cat running fucking wild behind me. Deadly aim, I do think we want to leave off now. 48 to hit. 7. Want to do. Ori? Free action. We do a swift action. He's already. He's already uh, targeted. gonna say hey this guy's gonna get just destroyed Heated. we were hitting AC 52 at that point which is super duper easy easy very nice very nice 
Oh. Oh. Okay, Baphomet. You're showing me a taste of your power, I see. Um... Is he doing the... Is he doing the whole can't be targeted thing? Seems like it. This got bugged. It's feeling like this guy is kind of bugged. Okay. He's back. Very strange about this. Like, okay. Are you gonna get back up again? No? I'm prepared. Not very impressive, Boss Pomet, honestly. I'm glad I was useful to you. As a whole fucking thing and and at the end it was just like, oh. See what we can do. You barely did anything. What's going on here? Uh, it's a healy spot. Sweet. Oh no, it's more the exploding fucks. Uh, gotta bum rush him. Oh no. These guys are not fun. Actually, you know what? I just weird. <laughs> fucking worth to not be exploded on by multiple fucking things over there. 
Oh, these guys weren't actually involved in the combat. Whoops. Look, none of them are fucking bombardiers, so I don't actually care. Kinda. Kinda truthfully. What the fuck? Set him for fuck. There's even more of them fucking just hanging out down there. Dear Lord Jesus. That. This hallway is atrocious. Like a big little thing now. It's the toy of life. Try to delete this guy. Dang. Why could just see us only attack once? Staggered. You're right, fair enough. Does it? No glory without risk. Ballot. It's a Louise. Oh, well. I finished here. Is there more? Look, these ones didn't just immediately attack us. Oh, very surprising. Please allow me. Honestly. I will prove my worth. I will follow my dream. Like actually quite surprising. Alright, back this way, I think, probably, before we head the other direction. I'm prepared. This is where I shine. Sweet.
All right, fair enough. No reason to pause. I did not click damage undead. I swear I did not. This game sometimes. It's fine. A bright future awaits us. Before someone catches me on the VOD, this clicks. <laughs> Must part with everything demonic in me. Okay. Uh, but Desna, please allow me to keep my lovely, irresistibly beautiful wings. Hey. You call. Um, the other guys. Fled, but yeah, I was gonna say I'm assuming these guys are gonna attack us because these guys are a little more stacked. Not significantly, though, technically. Uh yeah, we'll just pop a Kalavakas. Damn you. Make your peace. <laughs> it's very much a are you sure you want to do this are you sure you want to do this all right you decided to do this this is your choice and they just did it anyways oh well shit happens the struggles never cease we are the light they are the darkness or elemental brawlers Elemental Crab Brawler. Adhesion, eh? Fair enough. Into the fray. Oh, right. God, that loud ass wall. Why do you do this to me? How's it going, Otis? Please get away from the wall. Just don't want it to be so loud. Otis is like, I too do not want it to be so loud, Papa. And yet I must deal with you all the time. I'm, I'm the worst. I'm the worst, aren't I, Otis Botus? He says, yes. Buckler plus three, heavy shield plus two, and flesh terror. Oh, plus five spiked light shield grants its wearer a plus two insight bonus on attack and damage rolls against living enemies. Fun. Insight bonuses are... Um, we don't really have anyone. I mean, I guess technically... Good old Sociol over here is using a shield. Um... Question him. He didn't like it though. I will prove my worth. What the fuck? Weird. Each step is a new journey. The darkness that rolls beneath looks impenetrable and somehow carnivorous. 
Maybe even the darkness itself is a dangerous monster in this insane abyssal realm. The fuck? I enjoy our travels. This is where I shine. Um, I mean, okay. We'll start with the higher one, I suppose. Fucking, ooh, actually, before we, before we jump into this, uh, let's go ahead and call this episode here. If you are watching on Twitch, stick around, we're gonna keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time for more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash thedistanthorizon.